subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified for the latest tech videos so here i am on the rooftop of my house because i cannot go outside and take the time lapse due to coronavirus so it's better to stay at home and stay safe so i'm going to show you in this video how you can take the advanced time lapse using your moza mini s mobile gimbal uh, i'm going to use the moza genie app and you're going to need that app as well if you want to use the advanced time lapse feature of the moza mini s gimbal so it's better if you take the time lapse with moving subjects as well by moving subjects i mean like people walking or cars because when your camera is moving on your gimbal and your subject is also moving then it's uh, it makes a quite good and cinematic look to your motion time lapse but for now since i am at home and i cannot go outside i'm just going to take the uh, motion time lapse of the sky with the clouds moving because you guys you can see it is quite windy today so i hope that this will make a uh, quite a good motion time lapse and you guys will understand how you can take motion time lapse using your moza mini s gimbal as well so let's start the tutorial so here i have the moza mini s mobile gimbal so i have first of all i'm going to place my mobile phone and i'm going to balance it on the moza mini s so here i have my iphone and i have already installed the moza genie app that will be used by the mobile gimbal to make the advanced time lapse so it is quite important that you install the moza genie app before you attempt for the advanced time lapse on the moza mini s so first of all i'm just going to open the moza genie app first on my iphone and then i'm going to place it so that uh, i have my iphone on landscape mode because sometimes the camera doesn't move from the portrait to landscape mode so you have to remove your camera out from the gimbal again and do the landscape thing so that's why i'm just going to open the moza genie app first and i'm going to make sure that it is on the landscape mode my uh, now i'm going to insert my mobile phone on the moza gimbal and i'm going to balance it so you have to make sure that the arm is on the right side when you see this uh, joypad the arm should be right side and then you're going to place your mobile phone in it okay once you see that the mobile is quite balanced enough you're going to long press the power button to power on the moza mobile gimbal so now it is power on now here on the lower right side you are going to see the bluetooth icon first of all you are going to enable bluetooth on your mobile phone and you are going to connect your gimbal to your mobile phone via the bluetooth it is very important if you want to use the advanced time lapse you need to have bluetooth enabled on it so i am going to connect it to the moza mini s you can see on the screen so now i am going to rotate it using the joypad i am going to focus it on the sky and i'm going to set some points so i think this is best now you're going to go to settings in camera mode you're going to click on, uh, click on it and the, on the above top you're going to see it says advanced time lapse you're going to press on it going to take two pictures that will be the start and end point for our motion or advanced time lapse the first picture will be the start point and for the second picture first of all you're going to rotate your mobile phone using the joypad to set the end point the shutter interval will be one second and i will take it for 10 minutes and i'm going to press on start So guys if you like this tutorial please give this video a thumbs up if you have any questions write them in the comment section below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so thank you for watching this video see you guys in the next one